Chapter two, like father, like son. Back 16 day, years ago. The Matsugane family was on real bad terms with a rival. Like waiting for all out war to kick off bad. One day, I got a call from the office saying they need me right away. So of course I hauled ass over. Hey! What's the situation? Some lady busted in here. But it seems like she means business. Huh? You called me over some lady? Not just any lady. A real hellcat. Says she ain't leaving till the boss gets back. Look. I'm not messing around! Oh, for the love of God, it hurts! <laughs> Let go of me, you crazy bitch! Listen up! You lay a finger on Maho! I'll snap his arm clean off! Mikiko. Oh. Hey, sis. This is bad. It's real bad. She has a... Maho Natsume. Hey. What the hell? Am I seeing this right? Why is Hoda getting his ass wet? I take it this gorilla is your muscle? You gonna try me or beat your chest? You're the one calling me a gorilla? Guys, what the fuck happened? It all started with the girl on the floor. She racked up quite a bill at one of our host clubs, but when the check came, she couldn't settle. We were gonna have to work it off at a cabaret club, but... This chick busted it and went fucking ballistic. What? Wait. How exactly is any of this our fault? You tell me, man. Okay, the beardless, the beardless Kaito is growing on me. Club starting next month. You deal with this shit. It was just oh, a little shocking on. at first. <laughs> hey, Hoda, let's hear your side. She barged in here out of nowhere and came straight at me. <laughs> out of nowhere, my ass. I had to do something. For real? You two have to get your story straight. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get to the bottom of this shit. What the hell? Just what the hell really happened? These dopes are too worked up to give me any good answers. Maybe I should look around the room for clues. What have we here? The buttons on that girl's shirt got messed up. I know Hoda well enough to imagine he grabbed her collar and yelled in her face to shake her up. Okay. This right here. So, you're this madwoman's sister, right? Please don't kill me! Whoa! No one's killing anybody here. Uh, uh, uh. Speak for yourself, asshole! You leave my sister alone! So if she has a, a sister, then maybe that's who they thought they saw. Ugh, oh, this is such a shit show. Is this it? Hey, Hoda, what'd you do to end up like that? Fuck, I don't know. She just burst in the office and told us to give her her sister. Hang on, so her sister was already here? Yeah, she was supposed to start working at one of our cabaret clubs. But when this one busted in the door, she was already demanding to see the boss. When I said he wasn't here, she yelled at us to call him and let her wait in his office. Obviously, talking to you assholes won't get me anywhere. Man, this lady's got real guts. Let's see. Huh? What's up with this box? Can't tell what's inside unless I open it. Well, I can't just go opening random shit up. If looking ain't enough, maybe I ought to try using another sense. I smell sweet bean, red beans coming from this box. Probably Yokon from Takemitsu. This wasn't here this morning. Did this woman bring them? Box of sweets. 
What's this? Something in there. I want to smell it. Over here, maybe. Why this right here? Now. Why this have to go down now? You busted my ass all morning to get it, and now they're gonna find it. <sighs> if I knew this would happen, I would have put it in a locker. Just as long as they don't look behind the plate. Wonder if he said all that out loud on purpose, or if he's just a dumbass. So the plate, huh? It? I can smell something, but it doesn't seem like anything really important. Huh? What have we here? I can smell something in the fridge. Oh yeah, I put the bento I bought yesterday in there. Almost forgot about that. Can't forget to take it back with me. Bento lunch set. isn't what they were is told it? it maybe it is aha uh -huh, so this is what he was hiding sake well i'll just confiscate this <laughs> let's see okay that has nothing to do with our current investigation this right here man she is pissed pretty impressive pulling a judo move on a yakuza like that Take though another step and his arm goes snap like a twig find out if i'm lying no 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 i hear you let's try and simmer down here shall we and a romance blossomed out of this? What? This is crazy. What have we here? Say, now that I'm getting a good look at her. What are you staring at? Just wishing I could have met a foxy lady like you outside of here. What? Tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna take you to the finest bar in town. And we can hash this all out over drinks. Oh! And I've got just the place in mind. It's real cozy. Just try hitting on me again. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> hey, what am I missing now? This right here. Hey, what happened here? Uh, well, it happened so fast. I don't know. As soon as I came in here, this was happening. How does nobody know what happened? Was it nap time in the office or something? Fine. Guess I'll have to take a look around and make the call myself. Hmm. Okay, Mikiko's goal. Hmm. I might need some help. Is this oh, it? here we go. Jeez, I was standing on it every time, huh? What have we here? Hmm. What's this paper? Huh? A resume? That must be that woman's. Guess her name's Mikiko Natsume. But what's the thing do what's the thing doing here though? Was she on her way to an interview or something? Finally! I was standing on the damn thing. Okay, we got it. Alright. I see what's going on here, Mikiko Natsume. I figured a gal wouldn't bust in here without reason. If anything, you and your sister are the victims. Well, here and now. Not for the host club stuff. Huh? I'm saying these jerk-offs never learn their hospitality. I'd like to apologize for the rough reception. Okay, what's your angle here? I know you didn't come here just to drag your sister off and leave her dead unpaid. At the very least, I'm sure snapping off limbs wasn't your first intention. You see this?
what proves she didn't come looking for a fight. The box of sweets. You're the one who brought those sweets, right? <laughs> that alone tells me breaking Hoda's arm wasn't your plan A. Well, well. Guess you're the smartest ape of the bunch. So what? Well, and she is kind of sexy. Tell how your negotiations broke down. The evidence is right here in front of me. What evidence shows Mikiko Nasume's negotiations fell apart? This right here. It was your sister. Look how her top got messed up. Even though mm. you kicked things off polite, it seems Hoda got hands on at some point. Which explains why you got him crying uncle in his own office. <laughs> not bad for a Yakuza. Are you sure you're not a detective in disguise? <laughs> if they ever kick me out, I may just consider it. Ah? <laughs> but listen, Yuko san You have to admit, your sister is partly responsible. If you're gonna play, you gotta pay. It's just basic business, you see? I know how business works. And I never said we wouldn't pay you back. Okay. Then what's the issue? The issue is... Maho's enrolled in college back home. If she ends up stuck as some hostess in Tokyo, she may as well kiss her education goodbye. I just want to see her graduate, find a career, and live a happy life. Can't your parents loan you the cash to get her out of this? No way! They'd freak if they knew I went to host clubs, let alone got into debt over one! Well, that part's all on you. Look, I get it with you people. Three million yen is a lot. I actually came to discuss repayment. And this douchebag grabs my sister like some barbarian! God, uh, I only did it because your sister got shitty with me! Then, Mikiko-san, what's your real plan here? You got a lead on three mil somehow? Well, I work in Shinjuku. Just a desk job during the day. But my nights are pretty much free. And in college, I worked as a server. I even got employee of the month a few times. Now, I know I've never been a hostess, but it can't be that different. At the very least, I'm a lot more qualified than my sister. Wait, are you saying... I'm saying I'll work for you instead. Can we play dress I'll up? I'll even give you a start date. How's that for basic business? Dress up, dress up, dress up, dress That's up. That's how I met Mikiko. <laughs> she was just so Sweet. headstrong and full of personality. That tenacity of hers pushed her to the top in no time. Not to mention, she was a real ball buster. Yeah. She'd take it upon herself to punish bad customers. Oh, yeah. And since it was my job to look after her, I'd step in when things got ugly, which happened a lot. So this Mikiko chick's covering for her sister. Not a bad plan. It's rare to see someone go that far, even for flesh and blood. Apparently, a car crash took their parents out when they were little. That was their only family. After that, they were lucky enough to get foster parents. It seems they're one big happy family now. Interesting. But is the boss gonna be cool with a swap? Says he doesn't see an issue, long as we get paid. Fair enough. Just make sure she doesn't skip town and make it an issue, Anaki. <sighs> she won't be a problem. Rough as she is, her heart's in the right place. <laughs> hey, what the hell was that for? You know the rules. No touching, no exceptions. Oh, come on. I'm a paid customer. Who are you to tell me what to do? And who are you to feel up our staff? Nothing gives me that right. It's okay, Michiko. Really. Uh, let's just go inside. I'm handling it, momoko -chan. I want to play as her. I want to kick some ass with her. Uh, 
We kicking this chick to the curb or what? Yeah. Curb stomper if you have to. Call yeah, back okay. Later, Break time's over. Uh, uh, Anaki? <laughs> Mickey go! Here comes the ape! Oh shit! <laughs> Who's this fuck? I'm her bodyguard. If you want to get hands on tonight, start with me. You heard that, boys? This fucking bastard! Take him down! be okay i need the drop kick though i'm sure i could upgrade uh the drop kick oh there's a drop kick oh there we go we can just do that damn let's go uh. Uh. How do I look, Minkiko? You like it? I'm really sorry. I just couldn't let them get away with what they did. No problem. Your safety is my job. <laughs> then I guess I'm in good hands, Mr. Bodyguard. Present day. Yo, what's with your office? No guns, no family crest? This place is lame. Oh, for the last time, I'm out of that life. This is the detective agency I work at now. Oh, yeah. Whoops. But damn, it's grody in here. You guys never clean up? Kid, just take a seat, will ya? My name's June, not Kid. He is just like his mom. Hey, that's... <laughs> something your pops forgot to take home. Huh. Weird. Anyway, where are we at so far? Oh, yeah. You were saying you're my kid. You know, you could call me your son, since that's what I am and all. I need to see this proof. Look, just tell me what you know, all right? Ask about his mom. Uh, about your mom. Your pops filled me in on some of the details. Said something about how she might even still be alive. Yeah, it always seemed off to me. I just can't imagine her taking her life. But the DNA I can't test either now. Is her, right? Feels like the odds of a mistake are pretty low. What if that was her sister? <sighs> I think mom got caught up in some deep shit. Deep shit? As in... I don't know. But I think her suicide and the DNA test were faked. She's gotta be out there somewhere. As for why she can't get in touch, maybe she just can't. You sound like you've thought this through. Any idea what happened? Uh, maybe something went wrong at work. Or she got kidnapped by some criminals. Uh, doesn't sound all that convincing. But now that you mention it, your dad did say she might have been anxious on the job. What did she do for work? Oh, she ran a cafe. Her cafe. No kidding. Does she run it all by herself? 
Yeah, she was doing real good too. She knows how to handle people. Yeah, she does. That's for sure. <laughs> Though with her personality, I can also see her making a few enemies. Well, she would have bad customers from time to time. There were also these people who tried to buy her out. But I can't think of anyone who'd want her dead, you know? Hmm. That doesn't seem to get us much of anywhere. Doubt that he's your son. So, you think you're my son? And it says this in your mom's diary? Yeah. She writes everything in that diary. This one she wrote 15 years ago, I think. It was right after the two of you broke up. Oh. What exactly did she write? So it could be! Um, stuff like... I don't know if I should keep it. I'll never see Masaharu-san again. I should get this taken care of, though. Oh, hell of a thing for you to read. Honestly, I get how she must have felt. After all, the man she loved walked out of her life and into a life-or-death situation. How could she marry and have a kid when her husband could get killed at any moment? Yeah. Tragic, ain't it? Then she decided to listen to her parents and marry the guy we all thought was my dad instead. But at some point between your breakup and their marriage, she found out she was pregnant. That's probably why you never got word of it. I guess given the timing, it's not impossible. Uh, okay. Uh, for the sake of argument, Let's say you are my kid. That means your dad got married, knowing your mom was carrying another man's child? I guess so. Yeah. He's really the type who'd commit like that? Could be. Maybe he was just that into her. I mean, sure, but, uh... Something... something smells fishy, Kaito. You gotta sniff it out. Wrap up the convo. Like... I don't know. I think that's about all I wanted to ask right now. June, you said your name was. What kind of mom has Mikiko been to you? What kind of mom? I guess I'd say she's been pretty cool. She's been... cool? Isn't that like the highest yeah. compliment you could like, get from a, ch a teenage child? To someone in trouble. Even if it was some nasty flirt or a big hulking thug, she'd get right in his face and tell him off. A couple of times she almost threw down right in front of us. Dad would freak out big time. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, are you gonna help me find my mom or what? Remember, I am a professional. That means I get paid to work. And I doubt you can afford my services. <laughs> oh, I think I've got that covered. <laughs> what? You gonna pay me in watches? <laughs> I swiped it when my dad wasn't looking. Hmm, sure is a nice piece of work. How much do one of these run? About 20 mil, give or take. Wait, how much? 20 million yen, man. Ha! Ah, 20 mil for this? Fat chance. I've seen shit just like this and block over for only 30k. <laughs> you mean to tell me some idiot coughs up 20 mil to check the time? Never bullshit a bullshit kid. Don't believe me? Look it up. The brand's right there. <sighs> okay. How do you even pronounce this? <laughs> that it's some knockoff. Uh, uh huh? Holy shit! Damn thing's over 19 million! This is part of some vintage collection? Nope, that's just the standard model. <laughs> Dad's got a ton of them lying around, too. What does he do for work? How long would it take to earn that? Was that about being a bullshitter? <sighs> so here's the deal, old man. I give you the watch, you go find my mom. Oh yeah, he's the CEO, I forgot. What? Not good enough? <laughs> it's not yours to give in the first place. 
Put it back where it belongs. You're really gonna say no because of that? Hey! Come on! Don't leave me hanging! I'm leaving to go find Mikiko. You coming? Oh, man. You can call me Kaito, not man. <laughs> ah, you got it, Kaito! So, where do we start? Kamurocho's not exactly a small place. There was this one spot your mom used to go all the time. Cafe Alps, it's called. Yeah, I remember. There she'd be. Sipping on coffee, reading a book. No noise from the city to bother her. Okay, and you think she might have went back there? Only one way to find out. Okay. Oh, and it's literally right here. Very convenient. All right, what's on the menu? Him. E. Iberico. <laughs> Fuck. I give up. Cafe Alps. Mikiko and I used to drop in here all the time. Last time I was in here, we were all celebrating together after Maho chan graduated college. Yeah, where's Maho right now? 15 years ago. Congrats, Maho-chan. <laughs> Gotta admit, I was getting a little worried when you started hitting the host clubs again. <laughs> Sometimes a girl has cravings, you know? Sometimes this girl can be a headache. Even so, nice work landing a job at a bank. Right out of college, too. Uh, it's just a desk job. Besides, it's my parents who know the board of directors and all. <sighs> All I'm going to say is please be careful. You never know what kind of people you're dealing with. I don't know if you've noticed, but weirdos seem to flock to you like creepy pigeons. Remember that one stalker you had at the convenience store? That's just one example. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next time some crazy guy bothers you, you tell me right away. Oh, sure. Like you'd rush all the way back home just for that. I would if I had to. See, this is why I don't tell you things. You never end up treating me like an adult. I mean, I get that you're worried about me, but you don't have to breathe down my neck all the time. Says the girl who went broke over some stupid host. How could I not worry about you? Why, just the other day, you were eating up some sleazeballs pyramid scheme. You said it nearly changed your life. Well, it felt right at the time, okay? <laughs> hey, a catch like you ought to be more careful. Take your sister, for example. She knows when to keep her guard up. <laughs> I guess I'll take your word for it, Kaito-san. Wait, did you just imply Mikiko's a catch too? Huh? That, what'd I say? Shoot, I forgot they were waiting. I never said they had to be outside. I mean, they could at least come in and say hi, right? Ugh, so rude. <sighs> Sorry about them, Masaharu-san. Don't be. If I were your folks, I'd probably feel the same. Oh, don't say that. They just haven't seen what a good guy you are. I'm gonna have to give them a talking to. After all, I'm a modern day Cupid. I brought you two together, didn't I? Now watch as I work my magic. <laughs> good luck wearing them down.
That was the last time I was here with Mikiko, and the last time I ever saw Mahochan. Wonder how Mahochan's doing now. Maybe she has her own family at this point. No sign of mom. Guess that'd be too easy. Yeah, it never is. But for now, we ask around and see if anyone recognizes her. We gotta find Maho. We won't get anywhere asking random people, especially if the search window is about a month. For starters, let's see if we can narrow it down. Find someone who might have seen her recently. Oh, okay. Think back to 10 days ago. What do you remember? You're a regular, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but I've been studying. I don't know who's around me. Still, you have to have noticed something. Just think back. There isn't anything to think back on. Guess I'll leave this guy to June. <laughs> Won't get anywhere. Wait. What? Okay. You? Hey, you got a minute? Oh, what's up? Has this woman been by here recently? Mm, not that I remember. Are you sure? She would have been here in the past two weeks. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, last week I was out of town with my girl, so I really wouldn't know. Oh, yeah, you could always ask the manager. Is he around? You're asking I mean, me? Shouldn't you know? <laughs> oh, for sure. I just don't know where he is now. I did see him before. You know what? I'll go find him. That was weird. We're just gonna barge into the employee's place? Okay. Huh, I'm guessing this guy's Cafe Alps manager? <laughs> Enjoying a little nap, huh? Yo, you got a sec? He is a heavy sleeper. How does he sleep through that. Maybe I need to find a new approach. I saw a um, megaphone or whatever back there. Use primal focus. Okay. Why don't we just use this? Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on now. Huh? A megaphone? What's this doing here? Wonder if I could use it somehow. <laughs> Good lord. Wake up. Wake up! Yeah. Wake up! Wake up! Nani? Is he dead? No way this guy didn't hear me. What? Oh, um, we're just gonna steal some food now? Hmm. This right here. How could I lose 10,000 yen? Hmm? Oh. Oops. What have we here? Anywhere. Huh? That guy's muttering something under his breath. I can't find it anywhere. How could I lose 10,000 yen? Oh crap, this is bad. If I can't pay, I might get arrested. No. Stay calm. It's just one bill. If anything, I dropped it close by. 
As long as the employees don't catch me looking around. Yeah, yeah, just gotta act natural. Well, that sucks. I feel kind of bad for the guy. I'll keep an eye out for his money. Um... I mean, maybe it's outside, but... Can I leave right now? I guess there's no harm in trying. Nope. Oh, but there it is. Hey, is this yours? Is that? It is! The 10,000 yen I dropped? You found it? Yeah. I just happened to run across it, so here you go. Thank you so much. You saved me from being a dine and dasher. The worst kind of scum there is. The worst kind um, of scum. What I meant to say was I was going to beg and grovel until the staff took pity on me. Sounds like the man had a plan. Maybe he would have been fine without well, me. I'm out of here. Maybe invest in a wallet. Um, wait, before you go, I'd like to return the favor. Fierce mouth guard. Whoa. Sure. Uh, thanks. Absolutely. Not many folks would do what you just did. Man, I wish some nice person would give me a mouth guard. I would totally put something like that in my mouth that I got from a stranger. He's got head uh, earbuds in or something. Oh, he's got headphones on. I doubt he can hear anything going on with those. So I believe it's time we lose them. There, that ought to do some good. Hey, get up! How? Wake up, goddammit! <laughs> no more food, Kim san. I'm stuffed like a cheese rangoon. <laughs> what? Uh, still not enough? I can't get any louder. And if I get rougher, I'll break something. Well, can we try this again now? Is this it? Full volume again. Wake up! Finally! Oh, uh, who might you be? Good morning to you too. I just had a quick question. Uh, okay. Uh, what is it? Finally, I can get somewhere with this guy. I'm Kaito, from the Yagami Detective Agency. I'm after a missing person. Uh, who's missing? This woman. She been around lately? I remember she was a regular here for the longest time. Uh, oh, this lady. Uh, you've seen her? Uh, not recently, but she certainly was a regular. Mikiko-san was her name. Good, so you know her. What else do you remember? Uh, actually, a lot. She stood up for me on multiple occasions. <laughs> I'm sure you know the types we get around here. <laughs> if anyone started making trouble around her, she'd march over and walk them right out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, she was a pistol, all right. Oh, and you! You and her were together, weren't you? That's right. You two had your favorite spot by the window. Hey, hey, I'm good, but that was 15 years what ago. Now? Can't you see there's a baby in here, moron? Now either put that shit out or go smoke outside. Like mother, like I son. Bust your face, kid. 
That's the same arm grab. I found Mikiko. She's in disguise <laughs> as a 14 year old kid. Hey, isn't that one of Mikiko's moves? <laughs> Let go, damn it! Oh. Hey, teach this little shit a lesson. Of course. Hey, I'm his guardian. You got a problem with the kid, you talk to me. And I'm gonna guess it's not talking you want. Aniki, you hear this dipshit? Oh, I've heard enough. Let's put the fear of the Aragaki brothers in him. Oh, I'm scared. Aragaki brothers. Check this out. Yeah, check that out. Let's see what what we can um maybe upgrade here. I have 32,000. So we could boost our attack. While running, press triangle near knocked down enemies. When they're knocked down, mm. trash talker. Let's see. Tank. L1 just as an enemy attacks. Stunning defensivity uh, attack that allows you to deflect most attacks. Just not bullets, deadly attacks, or other powerful attacks. Perfect guard can be performed during a rush combo. This is the enemy attacks. Temporarily increases defense after performing perfect iron guard. Primal tackle. Press and hold triangle. Yes. Deadly dance. The sheer understanding of how a weapon operates increases weapon damage. And that's all we have points for. Oh, yeah. So press and hold triangle. Wait, how did... Whoa, whoa! Let me find a weapon. I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna just put all my points into that. Into the tank. This sounds fun. This ain't over yet. <laughs> yeah, kick the bricks, you dusty old scrubs. Chu, I know you mean well, but use your head sometimes. Not everyone's gonna go down from an arm lock. Yeah, read you loud and clear. Although. Your technique was spot on. Where'd you pick that one up? I think you oh, know. Mom taught me that a while back. So that was the Mikiko special. Yeah, she knew all kinds of stuff. Kickboxing, self-defense, you name it. Mom was badass. Reminds me of a story your mom once told me. Some little shitheads were picking on your aunt, right? But instead of telling the teacher, she trained herself at a dojo till she could take him down herself. Guess you two had something in common. You both kick ass. Aww. Boom! Pa! You fire off punches like a rocket launcher. You seriously gotta teach me how you do that. <laughs> Why? So you can pick even more fights? Self-defense is all a kid like you needs. Ah, <sighs> weak. <sighs> Thank you so much for what you did. As I was saying earlier, Guys like them always come around, making trouble. Glad I could help clean up. Shall we continue our discussion? Please. Right, right. Damn punks make me lose focus. So, can you tell me anything about Mikiko? Sure. I'd say this happened, oh, about ten days ago. A woman came in and ordered coffee. 
She was seated by the window, too. At the time, I thought she looked familiar, but I wasn't 100% sure. But when you showed me that picture of Mikiko, I immediately thought of that customer. Was it her? Ooh. Well, I can't say for certain. She wore sunglasses, so it may have been someone else. Sadamoto's son said the woman looked like who looked like Mikiko got spotted about a month ago. And this one was ten days ago. Would they be one and the same? Got it. Are there any other details you remember? Hmm. What else? Oh, this one's about Mikiko-san herself. I remember she used to bring a friend fairly often. Maybe she might know something more. I believe she knew this friend from a cabaret club. Oh, you don't mean Momoko-chan. Momoko-chan, that's the one. I haven't seen her in a few years, but she might still be around. Last time I heard, she was running a bar in the Champion District. Yeah, Momoko's. I used to pop in there sometimes. Nice! Then I guess we know where we're headed. Thanks for all your help today, boss man. Oh no, this was the least I could do. Please, come back again. You're a lot better That's at all this you than got? I thought. We're looking for... What was her name? Momoko or something? And where are we headed right now? No. Mikiko is... Momoko is Mikiko's old friend. We're looking for Mikiko. <laughs> um, so Momoko had a... has a bar over there. Okay. Oh, she was the hostess that Mikiko worked with back in the day. Now we're finally ready to start the stream proper. To the champion district. Oh, I think they want us to go from the south side. So I've been curious. How does one join the Yakuza anyway? Say what? Maybe I want to find me a family. So I thought I'd ask the expert. Is it just like they do in the movies? Where you swear an oath to your boss over a cup of sake? Chu, please don't tell me you're serious. Yeah, and what if I am? Then you're even dumber than I thought. No kid should even think of wanting that life. Well, I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Okay. Then say goodbye to having your own bank account. Or a place under your own name. Any Yakuza you see is probably dead broke. That's how bad the police have them now. Trust me when I tell you. Give it up. Mm, not sure I buy all that. You've been out of the game for a while, right? How much wax do you have in those ears? Ha! Found you, little bastard! I knew I'd track your skinny ass down! Who are these clowns? You a friend of yours? Who, this asshole? I caught him beating on a homeless guy, so I figured he needed a lesson in empathy. Didn't last long when I twisted his arm, though. You just love getting into shit, don't you? Listen up, shit stain. It's time I got some payback. What, you want round two? This time I'm breaking bones. And I'm chopping limbs. Get ready to bleed. I think this kid's got potential. <laughs> June, 
Allow me. Oh. Hey, you with me? <laughs> He's facing the again. Uh, Wait. Uh, Maybe I take it back. Deal with you. You better back the fuck off, man! Unless you want to get hurt! So that was the second time Let's he's faded in the presence already. of a knife. So I wonder what happened. Really knows how to choose him. Clearly something happened. Maybe even a repressed memory. But anyways, what I was saying was, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know what the future of this series is gonna hold. But just say that they couldn't go forward with Yagami being the protagonist anymore. I know that's... There's no, not clear information about that. I'm getting my ass beat, really. I think June could be a... The, a next protagonist. Homeless guy getting beat up on? He intervenes? I mean, that's protagonist stuff right there. I don't know about the whole feigning thing, though. That might be a problem. <laughs> Ju, you okay? Uh, wait. Don't tell me I... Passed out again? Yeah, you sure did. You want to tell me what's up with that? I just can't handle that shit. What shit? Knives, man. When I see one, my brain just shuts down. Literally, just... The hell? <laughs> you got some sort of knife-a-phobia going on? Don't tell me you got stuck at some point. Not exactly. See... I was messing around with my dad's knife collection one day. And like a dad, he warned me never to touch them. But as a kid, of course, I was gonna. Okay. Well, as you can guess, my dad walked in on me. And man, was he pissed. Which naturally got me pissed, so I started talking back. That's when he put the knife to my arm. You saying he cut you? A little. Enough to draw blood anyway. What the hell? Do you get it now, June? Knives were made to hurt. A person can die if they're not careful around them. I don't want you touching these ever again. Understand? Jeez. So that's what did you in. Well, if you ask me, he took his lesson way too far. Yeah, no shit. I has no fucking clue how to be a dad. All he does is work himself sick in his office. Though, he did apologize later. After he found out how bad he messed with me. Said he was out of line. But that's just no not kidding. something you do. Hey, you think the Yakuza would still take me even with the fear of knives? <laughs> if you pass out the moment you see a blade, I don't think you'd last long either way. Mm -mm. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Fainting on the job in that line of work's a death sentence. Poor thing. Besides, it's not like you can always swoop in and save the day. I gotta get over this bullshit. Well, you can save the pity party for later. We're out to find your mom, remember? Right. Yeah. That way, huh? And this just makes me even more curious about what, like, where is Mikiko? Why would she leave if this dad is so, first of all, not even this kid's real dad. And if he was like that, then she, maybe she probably would have known she would not have left her son with that guy. Especially if he's like working all the time, like whether it be just running off or leaving this mortal plane, I don't think she would have done that, you know? So that just makes me really curious about 
exact the exact circumstances of what happened with her because like shit's not adding up you know all right let's let's get to momoko's here hey there momoko chan <gasps> kaito san gosh it's been ages oh who is this young man his son the name's june uh Really? Oh my goodness, Kaito-san. When did you... Don't listen to him. He's actually... Uh, it's kind of complicated. We need to call Mori. So Mikiko-chan might be alive? You're sure? We need to get that well, we're not. paternal test here. Apparently a lady who looked just like her was spotted in town. I came here hoping you might know what that's about. After all, you two were pretty much inseparable. Before she disappeared, did she reach out to you at all? Hmm. I can't really say she did. All I remember is she never forgave herself for what happened to Maho-chan. Wait, what happened to Maho-chan? Oh no, you haven't heard? I think it was... 13, 14 years ago? Anyway... It was tragic. Tragic? Without even seeing it coming, Mao-chan passed away. You, what? You're kidding. Oh, not Mao-chan. How did it happen? Well, according to the reports, it was arson. Imagine your last moments being trapped in a fire. Arson? Oh, God. What a way to go. Isn't that like one of the Their worst ways to die? Died that night too. Why these horrible things happen, I'll never know. Mikiko-chan took it especially hard. Of course she would. Her sister was really all she had left. <sighs> After Ooh. that, Mikiko-chan changed. Guilt trip. It's like all the sadness in her heart evaporated from that point on. She'd say things like she'd kill the bastard who did it. As if the only thing driving her was anger. Will they ever catch the guy who did it? They did. Apparently it was a stalker who'd been after Mahochan a while. He hung himself immediately after. Why does such Bastard fucked up things happen around in, huh? these games? But Mikiko really hated that. Yeah. Mikiko-chan got so depressed. <laughs> it was hard to watch. Not only did she lose her little sister, she lost the people who took her in. Even though they weren't flesh and blood, they may as well have been her real parents. And all that goes away in a night. <sighs> to someone she can't even hold responsible. <sighs> June, did you know this? Well, kinda. It happened right after I was born, though, so I never heard much details. Damn. <sighs> you okay, Kaito? Yeah. Fine. We've got a job to do, don't we? Right. Where else in town might Mom have gone? <sighs> hey! What about your special spot? Have you checked there yet? Huh? What special spot? Seriously? I'm talking about Kamuro Theater. And Mikiko-chan told me all about it way back when. Although, wasn't it called something else back then? Oh. Hey, uh, what was this special spot of theirs? Mm. It's where Kaito-san asked your mom to go steady. Whoa! For real? <laughs> For real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I remember right, he took her to a movie and confessed at the downstairs cafe. Uh, yeah. A anyway, the place has been remodeled since then. The cafe's not even there anymore. But isn't the place itself still important? Those memories will always be there. <sighs> I mean, maybe, but... Mikiko even go there after all these years? She might have if she came all the way back to Kamurocho. 
After all, she described it as one of the happiest times in her life. Huh. Did she really? Kaito, you fucked well, up! Well, it's not like we have any other leads. Might be worth a shot to check. Yeah, I suppose we could. Kaito should... Kaito! Why did you leave? Why did you... Why did you... Why did he mess it up with her? This is making me mad. She, she lost him. And then she lost her whole family. <laughs> Got a little workout in at least. <sighs> okay, to the Commodore right, Theater. Let's go, All right, let's go, kid. This is some fucked up shit. <laughs> 